Hello, everyone. First of all, thank you so much for taking the time to attend this webinar. Today, I'm going to have a discussion on expanding future of mobile commerce with Magento PWA Studio. They are very overwhelmed by the presence of you all. If you have any queries, you can just mention in the comment section and we will try to answer all of them at the end of webinar. So before going forward, let me introduce myself. I am Mallika Verma, senior software developer at Set Commerce. Set Commerce basically provide one-stop e-commerce solutions for merchants and their business requirements. Also today we have Patrick from Magento Commerce with us, who is collaborating with us as a guest speaker in our webinar. And I'm very sure his presence is surely going to help us in exploring more about the aspects of PWA and its future. Hello, Patrick. Hi, Malika. Thanks for the introduction. And thanks, everybody, for having me join this webinar today. I'm Senior Product Marketing Manager over at Magento Commerce. And I'm, I'm excited to chat with you about PWA. OK, so moving forward. First, we will focus on our key points, which we are going to discuss in today's webinar. So the first question which we will be answering is, what are the key features of PWA Studio, which is mainly helping the world? After knowing that, we will proceed to from where PWA was generated, what created the need of PWA. Then we will discuss what makes PWA better than web apps and native apps. Then we will be discussing the future of mobile commerce with the help of PWA. After that, we will look towards some of the real world examples of PWA. Then we will be mentioning the benefits of PWA towards the business and towards the merchants. Then I and Patrick will be mentioning the contributions of Magento and Set Commerce for PWA till now. So moving forward. The first question will come in our mind when we will think about PWA is what makes PWA an effective solution? What is basically PWA? I think all the members who are at it till now must be aware of PW basics. And everyone must be aware of this also that it's a very hot topic of discussion nowadays. So let's focus on PWA and few aspects, its impact on conversion rates. But I will also give a small brief introduction of progressive web apps for those who are not aware of it till now. So progressive web apps are basically the web app that uses the modern capabilities, modern web capabilities, basically, to deliver an app like experience to users. Basically, PWA builds a bridge between web apps and native mobile apps to achieve the features of both. I mean to say that there are some features of, I think there are all the features of web apps which are already present in PWA, but there are some features of native app also which are now implemented successfully in PWA. If I can remember, I think PWA was introduced by Google in 2015. So from 2015 till now, there are many global businesses who are using PWA just because of its compelling features. According to, according to me, there are three key features of PWA. That is, it's engaging, it's fast, it's reliable. PWA provides you an option to add the web app on your home screen without downloading it from the app store. It also provides an immersive full screen experience with the web push notifications. And there are many meta features like camera, data storage, GPS, motion sensors, and many more, which can be used in PWA. I think these all features make PWA an engaging solution. Uh, for example, nowadays, people must be using native apps. And if you found any app is very slow and you are take, it's taking very much time to load, then I think no one will be interested to use it. So PWA is the solution. I think. PWA can increase, if PWA can only increase one second speed, then also 5% of engagement will be increasing for sure. And it 
the speed must be the key feature to increase the customer engagements for any merchant's business. Also, as per the Google stats, 53% of visits are abandoned if a mobile site takes longer than three seconds to load. So I think it's very important for a website to PWA can also work in low network area. Till now, we only know that nothing can work without internet. But PWA can work in slow network and sometimes in low network also. So if, suppose we are traveling and we are getting 2G network, so then also we can use PWA. That makes it more engaging and a very reliable solution. So I think these three features are the key features. But there is one more very interactive feature of PWA that is push notification. So push notification basically helps in building a relationship between customers, customers to sites. If I am getting latest offers and shipment details as a push notification, also if I'm not using the PWA app, so that's the profit. That, that's the plus point which was not there in the web apps previously. As you can see in this graph, that web app has a large number of traffic and native apps have large number of customer engagements. But because of the features fast, reliable, and engaging, PWA makes it possible to increase the traffic, and which is surely going to reflect on increasing the customer engagements. So uh, Patrick, now let's have a look from your side. Yeah, so you know, it, thanks, Malika. As you mentioned, PWAs really do help bridge a gap that's that's left behind by these current mobile options of web apps and native apps. So where websites have high traffic and, and and people are very familiar and able to access them easily, they lack the same robust feature set that native apps have. And while native apps have those engaging features, they're also possibly expensive to maintain. They're not as discoverable. Uh, they often are only appropriate really for larger merchants. Um, and, and PWA strikes the balance between these two traditional mobile commerce methods to give merchants more choice in, in what path forward is best for their business. OK, so let's move forward. Now the, question, if any, now the question comes that what created the need of PWA? Whenever any technology is introduced, there must be some reason why it was evolved. So uh, if you know, uh, for example, when we go to shops and uh, previously we go to shops and for, the, uh, for purchasing things. But nowadays, there are so many shopping apps. There are so many shopping websites. We can just sit at our home and we can shop, which will help in reducing the time, uh, the time which was consumed later on by going on shops. So that was the reason why shopping apps were evolved. Similarly, what created the need of PWA? If we were using static pages, then it was converted to dynamic pages. Then server side pages came into existence, which were basically uh, using programming languages like PHP and JSP and many more. The main drawback of this was that every time a request is made to database, and you will get a response for that, and again, the complete page will reload, which makes the process very slow. Then comes the AJAX. To overcome this issue, asynchronous API calls were used. Without reloading the page, only replacing the response content. There is a very good example for that. That is Google Suggest. And I think everyone present over here must have used Google Suggest. When you enter a search key into Google search bar and Google website automatically, automatically begins offering autocomplete options while you type, that's in Ajax. After that, single page applications that are also web apps came into existence that basically load a single HTML page and dynamically update that page as the user interacts with the app. Uh, single page apps basically use Ajax in HTML5. And there is a very classic example for that. That is Gmail. As you can see in your, your Gmail account, when you will click on a message in your inbox, browser stays on the same page. But JavaScript code hits the inbox and brings the message body on the screen. So after that comes the PWA. PWA helped in resolving all the issues which were there previously. It basically fills the gap of single page app, which had low connectivity issue. And this is now overcome by the PWA exclusive features, like it's fast, 
speed, its fast speed and capability to work in low network conditions. Progressive Web Apps provide an installable app-like experience on desktop and mobile that are built and delivered directly by the web. There is a very important script which is implemented in your browsers that is Service Worker, which provides an offline, offline support feature and push notification and also helps in improving the caching technique. Till now, we have focused on some of the key features. Now, let's focus on some more characteristics of PWA. So, as the name suggests, progressive web apps. So, what makes it progressive? One of the best things about PWA is that they do not have restrictions on traditional apps. They have restricted the ability to only work with one platform. It means the PWA must be progressive. That, that is, it can work on as many platforms as possible. It's basically platform independent. You can uh, open it on Chrome, Firefox, Safari, any of the browser. Also, nowadays, everyone is using mobile phones, tablets, desktop, and laptops. So if you are getting a design same on phone as well as on desktops, so that will surely going to help. And that is the feature which we call responsive. Web apps can work in low network area. And after implementing the service worker, it can also work in low network area. So it proves that it provides the best connectivity. PWA is secure because it is using HTTP protocol, which helps all the processes related to order transactions. And I think every user wants their payment information to be secured. So HTTPS protocol can help us in that. And looking at the uh, this bottom row of characteristics, you know, a couple of other things that you'll find with PWA is the fact that uh, first it's installable. It allows users to keep the apps that they find most useful on their home screen without the hassle of having to go to an app store, uh, and they don't have to go worry about that app store keeping it up to date and, and making those updates whenever a new release comes out for an app. Uh, PWAs also provide easy linkability compared, compared to native apps with shareable URLs that don't require any kind of complex installation. So just like you might share uh, a typical web URL with a friend now, but you don't necessarily have that ability with, with a, uh, a native mobile app, PWA does give you that sort of same URL experience. In addition to being able to work offline, like Malika mentioned, is, is that PWAs also use significantly less data than native apps. Uh, just for one example, Twitter's PWA, it sits, they say that it saves up to 70% on data used compared to their native mobile app. And then the last one, you know, I, I think I mentioned discoverability earlier. Uh, and this, this is related to both as applications. So Google now lists them alongside native apps on the Google Play Store. Uh, and they're also able to be found via search engines like a standard web page. So any kind of um, any kind of searches you do on Google or other other search engines, uh, their PWAs are able to be indexed the same way as as traditional web apps. Now let's have a look at the deficiencies that earlier web apps were having, and which were further recognized and overcome by PWA. Web apps are basically slow, and PWA is fast because of its remarkable speed and caching techniques. And also, they are using the optimized image process, which makes the page load faster. Web apps has low engagement rate, whereas PWA has high engagement rate just because of its feature that it can be added to your home screen, and it can send push notifications. Web app has shabby user experiences, Whereas PWA has an attractive user experiences because content doesn't jump as the page loads, pressing back from detail page retains scroll positions on the previous list page. So I think this makes it much more attractive. Web apps are launched by the browser, and in PWA, we can directly add it to the home screen and just open it. Web apps do not work without internet, or you can say in offline mode. But with the help of service worker, we can make PWA work in offline mode. 
then now uh, let's see what are the flaws of native apps which are now fulfilled by web apps native apps are very uh, very ha uh, having very lengthy downloading process first we need to download it then we need to install it and many things native apps are platform uh, platform dependent whereas there is no such thing in progressive web app there is same source code source code which will work for both ios and android but this is not there in native apps also in native app we need to write the code for both android and ios which will surely going to result in much more time consumption and will surely increase the cost native app also needs the frequent updates which is i think not there in pws you can just reload and will get the features so now comes the interesting topic i think all the people which are connected over here there are some merchants which must be waiting for future of Yeah, thanks, Malika. So you know, we we see that that mobile is is starting to take a larger and larger share of of uh, you know shopping and e-commerce traffic. Just last year, uh, Adobe Analytics they had a report about holiday traffic, and they found you know that mobile is the the dominant way that people are shopping during during that holiday season last year. But there's also still a pretty big gap between the amount of people who are actually uh, Browsing on their mobile devices versus how many people are actually converting. It was something like 51% of traffic uh, for these e commerce sites was coming on mobile devices, but only 30% of the actual conversions. So, you know, we, we see that the mobile web is, is not really working as well as it can be, uh, especially as it relates to commerce. And analysts are con continuing to kind of support this notion of, of the progressive web. Um, so, you know, Forrester, they're showing that, that this isn't just a trend. These, uh, this new technology is something that is going to be changing the way that we, we have our expectations about web development and change our habits in our organization. And Gartner is predicting that by the end of next year, progressive web apps will, will have replaced 50% of, of general purpose uh, native mobile apps. So that's a pretty significant trend, um, you know, from kind of like we saw a few years back going from standard just kind of separate desktop and separate mobile sites to the uh, the adoption of responsive sites. We're kind of in that next evolution beyond responsive to uh, to the uh, the kind of technology where we're where we're headed permanently as an industry. And one of the one of the reasons why this is going to be so, such a benefit is that PWAs ultimately they'll be able to support the entire digital commerce lifecycle. So from acquisition, some of the things we already mentioned is this kind of searchable, shareable content. Uh, the fact that it runs on on most platforms, you don't have to have um, a number of different platform specific versions of the app. It's a modern and responsive UI. It's it's fast, so people are 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 willing to engage with it. On the conversion side, uh, some things that, that we've already mentioned as well. You know, the, it's quick to, to install, adding it to the your home screen as an icon so it sits alongside your apps. Uh, you have the ability to really be personalized with your content and, and acknowledge visitors who have been there before. Uh, on the engagement side, a couple of things like push notifications, uh, being able to to use that to track order status and delivery times, um, again, kind of personalized offers and deals, and then you know we we talked a little bit about offline mode and low bandwidth support. So if you're shopping, if you're in a place where you have to go underground for public transportation, maybe you maybe you lose your connectivity, you can still continue to be engaged with that with that brand, and you you don't lose your customers. And then on the retention side, you know, there's of course a lot of things from uh, the dynamic app update that Malika just mentioned, where you know you don't have to worry about keeping uh, keeping this app up to date. It will automatically uh, be up to date with the latest version because it is still just a website. And you know, I want to point out that PWAs are still in the early stages, and many many of these items are aspirational. So you know, not all of the promises of PWA are delivered today, but the potential is very high. And and as new companies continue to invest in its advancement, uh, both from the customer and the merchant side, but also from companies like uh, like Google and like like ourselves at Adobe, you know, we're investing in pushing this technology forward so that it does address more and more of these use cases. Now let's have a look 
towards some real world features some real world examples of pwa if someone is willing to go for pwa so they must be aware that where it is already implemented and what it's helping for is it helping in increasing the conversion rates or it's helping in reducing the page speed so these are some successful pwa solutions tipo tipo hotels is an indian budget hotel chain that operates on franchising the day when they are implemented pwa as a solution in its business model within a few months they saw a phenomenal growth in their results as their conversion rate increased by four times and the page load speed turned out to be 1.5 seconds on mobile forbes forbes is very popular american business magazine which even went to get their pwa solutions implemented for their websites due to which their mobile page load speed turned out at 2.5 seconds which also resulted in the increase of customer impressions by 20% everyone here must be aware of twitter it's a micro blogging social networking site so after implementing pwa in twitter the average number of page viewed during a session on twitter was increased to 65% due to the customer session increase the number of tweets sent also increased by 75% which is very large number and which increased customer engagements similarly there are other apps other organizations also like uber make my trip flipkart starbucks aliexpress and many more who went for pwa and showed an remarkable turn up in their stats for customer engagement and their conversion rates now let's focus on case study of alibaba we have chosen alibaba because it's basically a b2b that is business to business trading platform and it i think it must be uh, used in 200 plus countries so everyone must be aware of it you as you can see that alibaba has increased the conversion rates by 76% i'm not saying that the conversion rates doesn't increase in ios and android it's also 14% 30% but 76% is really a very large conversion rate and which was achieved by alibaba what action rate from app to home screen feature so here we can understand that from a live scenario that how e-commerce giants helps itself in growing itself now comes the benefits of pwa let's see how pwa can help in increasing your business and how it can help the merchants how it will benefit how it will going to benefit you all benefits of pwa for business pwa is having a remarkable speed as i've already mentioned high load speed for the burden on server and that is just because of pwa because it's having very high speed and it can be limited to service workers which will help in implementing the caching technique also it can work offline mode in offline cross platform compatibility it can work in every browser in chrome safari edge firefox it also do not require any frequent updates it's responsive in design as i've already mentioned if you will open it in your mobile screen or in your desktop you will going to get the same view so that makes it responsive push notification is a very important feature it helps in engagement of customers and as you can see it's 88% in increased push notification was basically implemented by using service worker it it was implemented on your browsers it's a kind of js now let's see some benefits of pwa to merchants yeah so you know we we talked a lot about the technology behind pwa and some of the capabilities but ultimately if if i'm a merchant what what does that actually matter for my business So how does that help me grow how does it help me generate more revenue so some of the things that we've talked about you know performance pwas are are built uh, for speed they offer this best in class performance and what that actually uh, leads to is you know as we've seen studies from google and things like that faster load time faster uh, time to being interactive on a page those actually lead to 
uh, significantly higher conversion rates and lower bounce rates. Engagement, you know, we talked about a lot of these uh, engaging web experiences and the capabilities and best practices that native mobile apps have. And so these are things that, again, you know, they, they help uh, improve your time on site, which the longer somebody spends on the site, the more likely they are to convert and clicking through uh, and adding something to the, to the cart. Uh, it lowers the total cost of ownership. Uh, by again, you know, unifying that customer experience into a, a single front end application. So rather than having to maintain your desktop site, maybe a, a mobile version of your site, uh, an iOS version, an Android version of your native apps, instead, you're building one single front end experience that works across all devices seamlessly. And so you don't have to have that specialized um, expertise in each of these technologies. You don't have to update all of these different platforms. You have one platform, one version of your storefront that you're maintaining and lowers the total cost of ownership and helps you get to market more quickly. And then, um, you know, PWAs, they, they, as I mentioned before, they represent the next evolution in the web experience. And so it, it allows merchants who, uh, especially those who are early adopters, the ones who are a little bit adventurous, a little bit willing to be the first, uh, first movers on PWA, it allows them an opportunity to have a competitive advantage over their competitors, you know, and give you, give you the ability to create something new and unique and experience that your, your shoppers aren't going to get with other, uh, with other competitive, competitive merchants to help you improve your conversion rates, your revenue, uh, your customer acquisition costs, things like that. And so, you know, now that we've talked about the benefits, uh, I can speak a little bit about what, what it is that Magento is actually doing to make, uh, make building progressive web apps uh, easier. On this, this section, I'll talk to you a little bit about PWA Studios. And so we have established that, you know, progressive web apps allow merchants to improve their conversion rates. They deliver these high performing and engaging shopping experiences. And PWA Studio, this is the, uh, the set of tools that Magento has built to, to help enable merchants and developers, uh, give them standardized tools to build, deploy, and maintain Magento and Adobe powered PWAs quickly and cost effectively. And so we've been using this analogy, uh, you know, to ha kind of help describe what it is that actually that the PWA Studio actually delivers. That analogy is basically, if you think of it as a car, we've got a couple of different components that make up the, the pieces of that car. You have our uh, Venia reference storefront, which would be kind of the shiny exterior. You have Peregrine, which is the engine of the car that powers the logic. And then upward is our, would be the wiring and pipes between all of the systems. And I can give you a little bit more specifics on, on what each of those pieces are. So with the Venia reference storefront, so this is a proof of concept Magento 2 storefront built using PWA Studio tools. It also provides a library of visual and stylized components for use in building your own PWA storefront. Uh, the Peregrine library that I mentioned, it contains a collection of functional components and custom React hooks for creating Magento PWAs. So these Peregrine components, they manage the function and the state, um, but they're not visual. They don't contain any of the UI elements that exist in Venia. And then upward, this is a specification file uh, that determines the behavior of the application server. So the specification file and the associated server act as a router and the communication layer between the application and the specified service or process. So, you know, with, with these kind of three main buckets, we also have a number of developer tools. We have PWA build pack, which is the main build and deployment tools for uh, PWA Studio. We have some Venia sample data and a shared Magento server so we can so you can get up, up to speed and get going more quickly. And then pwastudio.io is where all of our developer documentation, tutorials, best practices guide, all of the things that will help you get moving uh, are all on pwastudio.io. And I mentioned we have Venia as this new reference storefront. Uh, those of you who are familiar with Magento and have been around for a while, you'll know Luma as our, our traditional storefront theme. 
And with Venia, we found that you know uh, Magento performance with an optimized PWA is three to four hundred percent faster than our previous Luma store. Uh, you know, this is something that we're always iterating on and always trying to make improvements. We release uh, new updates to our PWA Studio, including the this Venia reference storefront every couple of weeks. So this is this is always continuing to get better. And I, in fact, I think I think these numbers are from uh, earlier this year, maybe back in spring. So uh, could be could be even better at this point if we uh, if we go back and test it again. And with that, I will uh, I'll pass it back to Malika to speak to some of the technologies that uh, that are packaged within PWA Studio and how they work together. Now let's have a look on the technologies used in PWA Studio. Basically, we had divided it into four sections. That is front end, PWA Studio, API, and back end. Front end, that is VM storefront. It is the basic. It is basically a theme which was developed by PWA Studio for the customers to have a very fast process of using it. Behind it, there are many other technologies like service worker. It basically helps in sending the push notifications. It helps in caching. It helps in offline working, offline it working of web app. Web app manifest basically helps in adding icons and app name in splash screens, which is very important to provide an app-like experience. HTTPS protocol help in providing secure network for the secure transactions for an e-commerce site. App cache basically cache the cache data and helps in opening the app in no network area also. Once you will open the app, next time when you will try to open it in no network area, it will surely going to work. Then comes the PWA Studio. There are many technologies which are being used behind Magento PWA Studio, like React, Redux, Node.js, Apollo, Webpack, Workbox. Upward. Upward is basically a kind of server which sits between a PWA and its resources, such as Magento. It acts as the backend service for a PWA front end that is able to proxy requests to connected services. Peregrine is the router. As Pat has told, it's the engine of car. It's the main thing where the whole logic, the whole processing is being done. Venia concept is basically a front, front end, and it consists of several components for different functionalities. If you would like to change in any one component like we used to do in Magento, then it will not going to affect on another components. And this makes it much more easy to customize. So Apple basically acts as a server connecting router and its components to each other. Then comes the GraphQL, which behaves as a mediator between Magento and PWA Studio. All the data which is retrieved in PWA Studio from Magento is by using GraphQL, and which is much more efficient and fast responsive in comparison, in comparison to REST API. PWA is supported by all the Magento 2.3.x versions. Now let's have a look for what set commerce has done till now. If I'm speaking here, if, I, if we are conducting a webinar, then there must be some steps which set commerce has taken for PWA Studio. So uh, basically set commerce started working on it when the PWA was initially launched in I think starting of this year. Currently we are working for many clients where we have, we are trying to bring all the e-commerce features on other sites which are not still developed in PWA Studio. And after completing those features, we will surely try to contribute it to Magento so that others can also use it. SitCommerce had also started developing their own theme, which was based on Venia concept. We are basically focusing on the home page because I think home page is the landing page where a customer comes at the first time. And if it is very interactive, then surely the customer engagements are going to increase. So we have added banner slider section, trending product section, latest product section on home page, and we are still in the progress. Now we are moving to another page. Till now we had worked on home page. Now we are also moving towards other features like we have used letter functionality, which is going to help in increasing the customer engagements. As you all can see, this is our theme, which was developed by site commerce, set PWA. 
the home page is already very interactive because we have already worked on it now we will be focusing on category page product page cart page checkout and then order confirmation so uh what patrick do you think about our theme yeah so this is this is a great example of of what we hope people do with uh with our venia storefront right we we want people to be contributing to pwa studio we want people to be helping extend the functionality and you know what said commerce has done adding some of that engagement functionality some of the uh you know things to the home page to to make it a little bit more interesting adding the newsletter sign up uh to give that sort of retention capability um, adding some of these other these other tools like banners, sliders, uh, trending products, the latest products. All of these things are great additions to the starting point that we've provided with Venia, and and something that we certainly encourage and appreciate uh, the contribution of of said commerce to uh, to what we've built. Now let's have a look for some PWA stats. As you can see, 20% increase in mobile sales and revenue. 33% decrease in maintenance. It's just because we need to write the code only once. There is no need to write it twice for iOS and Android. 50% increase in the customer engagement because of its awesome, its remarkable, its attractive features. 68% increase in mobile traffic. And there is also reduced it also reduced the bounce rate compared to other mobile sites, 42%. And as there's the main key feature of any website is its speed, as I've already mentioned. So you can see it's 2.5 seconds, the average speed. It can be even lesser. If you will load it second time, it will be two seconds, then 1.5. So it's very less. So uh, basically, said commerce is available at these four places. Our headquarter is at India. And our sales and marketing team is also sitting at USA, Malaysia, and United Kingdom. You can reach us anytime for any e-commerce solutions, any issues, any query regarding PW Studio for implementing it, or a general query is also welcome. So now let's have a look towards all the queries which were mentioned in between the webinar. We will try to answer as many as possible. Let me have a look. I'm Lincoln. I was keeping an eye on some of the uh, the questions. We had a couple there at the end. One is, uh, is there a UI issue with large screens in PWA? Um, and I, I can take a first track at that. There shouldn't be any kind of issue with large screens. You know, we talk about uh, PWAs often with, with regards to mobile commerce, but PWAs can actually also help desktop experiences as well because they do, uh, you know, they deliver some of these engaging features uh, to a desktop experience. You know, you can you can find um, sites, websites like um, like Twitter, for example. If you go to uh, if you go to a URL on your desktop, if you're searching it in Chrome, you'll see a little plus button to the right of your URL bar, and you'll see that it's actually a a PWA. It's actually an app that you could potentially install on your computer as an app, um, and so. Yeah, I think it depends on how you implement uh, the PWA, but ultimately these are meant to be not simply for mobile experiences, but for desktop experiences as well. And uh, Malika, I don't know if you have anything to add to that. So I also think there is no such e uh, UI issue in large screen with PWA, and I am totally agree with the Patrick's answer. So now let's move towards another question as we are running out of time. So. There is another question, what do you mean by linkable in PWA features? So as Patrick has already explained, uh, as uh, as everyone has used the native app, so there is no URL for category or catalog, means all the product pages, which is very important for SEO purpose. So now PWA has resolved this problem, and it's providing a URL for products category as well. And you can directly use it for calling on and increasing your SEO rate. So uh, I think that would be enough for today. So uh, we will answer the remaining queries in our comment section after uploading this video on YouTube. Now, uh, I would like to thank you, everyone, for attending this webinar. Special thank you to Patrick for collaborating with us. Thank you so much, Patrick, and all my lovely audience.
Thanks, Malika, and thanks, everybody, for joining today. This was great. You all will get the link through your emails, and you can just show, see the video through YouTube if someone has missed it. Thank you, everyone.